Sees Adamson kyf saam met J.J. Stevens en gesels oor sy lewe en loopan as eerste muzikant in Suid-Afrika. Ons praat country sy legende van die week is die buikersvoel koning van country, Buck Owens. Ons praat country, muziek vir amal. What a wonderful privilege to have Cess Adamson on our set today. Uh, of course, you won't know that what it says. It says Ons Prat Country. And uh, I don't know if your Afrikaans has improved over the last 35 <laughs> years since I've known you. <laughs> but I'm sure you'll say that we talk We sing country. country or we yeah, talk we country. sing country. <laughs> country. Wonderful privilege to have you, Cess. And uh, you, of course, came to South Africa in the, in the early 70s. If I, am, I, am I right? 1974. 1974. And of course, you're from Dublin. Belfast. Belfast. Where you, that was quite a hectic place to be in the 70s, yeah. I would imagine. They, they called it the Black North. <laughs> the Black North. Yeah. So you came to the uh, not so friendly <laughs> South. <laughs> well, I enjoy I didn't find it unfriendly. <laughs> when I landed here, I thought, well, this feels more like home than where I left. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But says we, you and I met back in the late 70s, I would think 77, 78, somewhere around there. Yeah. Uh, at the then Texas Bull Saloon. I remember it. Yeah. And uh, you, of course, have been an integral part of, of country music since basically its inception in the 70s, uh, you know, with various bands. And, and of course, you toured quite extensively at the time, you know, because there wasn't many pedal steel guitar players around at the time. No. Well, I, I, I was busy every weekend because uh, every little town in South Africa has an annual agricultural festival. Yeah, yeah. They still do. Uh, and they always wanted to put on a show at the weekend and it was always a country show or pretty much always a country yeah. show. Yeah. And the singers in those days always had to bring a, bring a band of musicians with them. Yeah, nobody had backtracks back in the day. No, no. Which yeah. was wonderful for all of us. <laughs> it was wonderful for me, yeah. uh, but it did change. Yeah, unfortunately, due to economics and, and, and you know various other elements and factors, you know that, that contribute to the change of music as we know it in South Africa today. Yeah. But um, says you are still um, very active in music today. I mean, you, I know you you are a very disciplined musician, and you spend quite a few hours per week practicing. Uh, per day. Per day. <laughs> per day. I try and spend a couple of hours a day. Uh, just trying to learn new stuff. It's, it's been a, a, a pretty much a consuming hobby most of my life. Um, and I still get as much enjoyment out of, us, out of it now as I did when I started. And that, that's the wonderful thing about music is because you are never going to be a master at it. There's no you, end to it. There's no end to it, that's the point. <laughs> when, when, you've, when, you've, when you've managed that very difficult chord or key or whatever, you know, the next one sits around the corner waiting for you, you haven't, you haven't quite busted me yet, you know. <laughs> so, this is what, that's why I love music, because it does keep your feet on the ground, you know. There's always a new song and, and there's a new challenge, you know, and you're forever growing. Yeah. You know. There's new styles. That's the point. There's new genres. Well, not so much new genres, but there's, there's all a variety of music from classical to country through jazz, mm -hmm. through, you now there's, I mean, it used to be simple. It used to be rhythm, R&B. The crooner music, then in the 50s rock and roll arrived, yeah. there was country, uh, classical music and opera, and, yeah. and not a lot else. Now these have all uh, evolved, cross-married if you like, yeah, yeah. evolved, and uh, uh, probably 50 to 100 different categories that you could, well, you could identify. I believe that, that country music itself has something like 38 different genres. Has it? Yeah. Okay. And it's just country music. Now, you know, if we go into R&B and hip hop and house and all the other things that I don't even know, uh, I'm sure, you know, it, it, it's even as, as diverse, diverse, if not more. You know? <laughs> so, but anyway, let's get back to country music. You, uh, you were in Nashville again last year. Uh, you, you went to the, 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 the Pedal Steel well, Convention. It, 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 was, it was, look, uh, they have a, probably a couple of dozen steel guitar shows or conventions, whatever you want to call it, okay. uh, a year in the States. Um, some big, some small. 
Um, the biggest one is Dallas, and that's actually where I was last okay. year. Okay. Uh, the, I think the second biggest one now is the one in Phoenix in Arizona, and I think I've been to that three times now. And I've made a lot of friends over there, you know. And, and, and in your estimation, uh, who would you think in America would be sort of the top dog when it comes to uh, pedal steel? Well, it's always hard to say who's the top dog. Mm. But I would say there's probably a dozen names that I could rattle off. Great players. There's a guy called J.D. Maynus, who, who's been, about my age. He's yeah. been around. He was one of my big uh, inspirations when I was younger. Nobody plays like him. Okay. He just has a unique approach and it's, it's great to hear. Another guy, Lloyd, Lloyd Green, is the same. You didn't recognize him instantly. And there's a few others. But there are a lot who sometimes, they're all learning from the same books and, and, and then it becomes difficult. Yeah, Maybe they haven't been at it long enough to really uh, create their own identity. I must confess to today is an absolute honor for me to be able to sit here and interview and have a chat with you. Oh, well, it's thank my you so honor much for the privilege. Here. No, my, my pleasure. Thank I really you very appreciate much. it. And, and thank you for your contribution to South African country music. I mean, um, I certainly regard you as a legend. I know we, we <laughs> joked about this off camera, but in my eyes, you certainly are a legend amongst steel guitar players. Let's put it that way then. Well, well, thank you very much. I appreciate that. <laughs> thank you for your time. We really appreciate it. Thank you for being here. And thank you for being proud of All Sprout Country. We really appreciate you. Bye, thank you so you. much. <laughs> <laughs> van die week, Running Down Memory Lane, geskryf in 1984 dier die oumie naam van Eddie Ruyven, en is toe opgeneem dier Rex Allen Jr. in 1984, en het tot nummer 24 gestuig op die country treffers verhaal. You broke my heart like it's never been broken before 
before Now you come back But I just don't want anymore I'd be a fool if I thought you could ever change You don't love me, you're just running down memory lane Oh, I'd like to hold you if only for old time's sake be crazy that would be one more mistake I was the loser the last time we played this game you broke my heart before rolling down memory lane my heart will remember the few really good times we Ons legende van die week is die legendariese liekieskrywer, sanger en muzikant Buck Owens. Elvis Edgar Owens is gebore 12 augustus 1929 in Sherman, Texas. Hy het homself vernoem na die familie Donkie op die ouderom van 4 jaar oud. Sy familie verhuis na Arizona in 1937 gedeerde die Groot Depressie. Owens verlaat die school in graad 9 om in die katoenlande te gaan werk om sy familie financieel te ondersteun. Gedurende die tyd begin Owens gitaarspeel en hy doen te optreden as by verskye radiostasies en crew in 1945. Hy moet dus sy toekomstige vrou Bonnie Camel daar is selle jaar. Om en by 1951 verhuis Owens en sy familie na Bikersfield, California. Owens word later die pionier vir wat hy genoem het die Bikersfield klank, wat een rock twangie weergave is van country muziek. In 1957 teken Owens een platencontract met Capitol Records. En in 1962 stig Owens die groep The Buckaroos, wat die muziek fundie Dan Rich en Young Mill Hackert ingesluit het. Die groep het groot sukses behaal met een totaal van 25 nummer 1 treffers. In 1962 word Owens een TV-aanbieder van sy eie TV-program The Buck Owens Ranch en was ook aanbieder van die TV-program Hee Ha in 1969 wat aangegaan het tot en met 1986. Owens ontwikkel keelkanker in 1993 en sterf op die ouderdom van 67 in sy slaap op 25 maart 2006, net ure nadat hy optrede gedoen het by sy Crystal Palace Club Branch in Bakersfield. Owens word vereer in die Country Music Hall of Fame in 1996. Ons doen graag vir julle een van Owens' treffers met die naam van Together Again. Together Again My tears have stopped falling The long, lonely nights Are now at an end The key to my heart You hold i 
together again Together again All my gray skies are gone You're back in my arms Right where you belong Together